last-minute gifts for Mother's Day and since they are last-minute they are really easy to make they are very quick DIYs but still like thoughtful and cute so yeah I hope you enjoy this video don't forget to leave a like if you enjoy it and let's just get right into this video for the first DIY I just got a really simple white mug and a permanent marker obviously I'm going to write any kind of text or quote onto the mug and what I wrote down was Always my mum, forever my friend. Feels Instead of writing any kind of quote down, you could also just draw anything, which I think is also really nice. When I was done with that, I got some scrapbook paper and then I cut some strokes. Uh, what I did, I just wrote down any kind of uh, coupons for my mum. So for example, you could write down coffee date, movie night or something like uh, laundry and yeah I think this is just really fun to just make some coupons for your mother and then you're done you can put the coupons into your mug and I think this just looks really nice and it's also very personal with your own message or drawing and with a different kind of coupons <laughs> For the next DIY, I was inspired by Nivea. They've got a special Mother's Day campaign this week uh, here in the Netherlands. So if you're interested and you live here in the Netherlands, then definitely go check out the description box. Um, so what they have offered for this week, uh, they sell uh, shower foam with um, permanent markers, different kind of colors. And uh, what you can do, you can totally like customize your own shower foam with a cute design for your mom. You could write down in text, draw any kind of doodles, which I think is really fun. Um, of course, you don't have to use this product. You could also um, just use another product if you're not able to get this share from, from Nivea. But yeah, I think this is just a really nice idea. Of course, it's always great to make any kind of card for Mother's Day and write down your own personal message. So for this one, I started off with a piece of paper, which I folded once. Um, after that, I got some scrapbook paper. I cut that in some strokes and then into little squares. Uh, I folded those squares and then I cut out a heart. Basically what I'm going to do, I'm going to create some hearts from different sizes and patterns and then I'm going to arrange them on my card, get a pencil and uh, draw the stems of a bouquet so in that way you can create a bouquet of hearts which I think is really nice. Um, so after I draw on the stems I got um, some glue and I glued my hearts onto the card. To finish it off, I added a little bow to the bouquet and wrote down Happy Mother's Day. The next DIY is really easy to make, but what I like about it is that it's very personal because you can use your own photos. Um, so what you want to do, you want to get any kind of twig or stick and then start off by tying a piece of wire onto the stick. When you're done with that, you want to get your photos and use a paper clip or anything else which works and just clip your photos onto the wire. Afterwards, you want to tie another piece of wire to the stick so you can hang up this uh, photo hanger creation. For the teacup candle DIY, you want to start getting some wax. I just used some old candles. You also want to get a candle wax and basically what I did, I just removed one from a candle and this was really easy. 
When you've got your candle wicks, you want to get a glue gun and glue the candle wicks to the bottom of the inside of the teacup. Now it's time to melt the candle wax. So basically what I did, I got a pan with boiled water, put another pan on top of it and put my candle wax into that pan. And if you use smaller pieces, then it will go a lot faster. When the candle wax is totally melted, you want to pour it in your teacup and you also might want to use anything to make sure that the candle wax stays right up. Yeah. Afterwards, you just need to wait until it's hard again, it might take a while. You could also put it in a refrigerator so it'll go uh, faster. But yeah, I think this is a really cute DIY. The last gift idea is not really DIY but still it looks really nice so basically what I did again I got a teacup and then I just put a cactus in it and then you've got this really cute um, teacup plant pot. There were all the DIYs which I wanted to show you. If you've made multiple of these gifts then I think it's fun to put them all together in a box so it will just look really nice. <laughs> gifts for Mother's Day. I hope that you enjoyed to watch this video and got a bit inspired to make your own gifts. Um, if you try out any of my DIYs, then I would always love to see it. Just send me a picture to my social media. They will be linked in the description box below. And yeah, I see you guys next time in a new video. Bye!